Welcome to the 686 Backcountry Safety Tips. Season is coming up and we're all super excited for this kind of good times. I'm gonna refresh your memories with the basics of safety and of course, I will share with you my personal tips. For the first episode of Backcountry Safety Tips, we'll talk about the gear you need to go in the backcountry with my personal checklist. So first, you need a transceiver that is tested with minimum 70% of batteries, as the guide said, and that you know how to use it. Secondly, you need a nice, long and solid probe. <laughs> Last but not least, a strong shovel. It's better if it's not a plastic one, with a big surface of shoveling. Those three are the essentials if you want to arrive in the backcountry or off piste It's not because you're riding the resort that you don't need that crucial safety kit. You need those three in a good backpack with an easy access to your safety kit. Also, if you have an airbag system, it's always a plus, but be careful, it won't make you invincible. So make sure it's tested and functional. Then in your backpack, you need some snacks and water. Then I always carry in my backpack a first aid kit with inside a survival blanket, a lighter, some glue to make some stitches, some bandage and a whistle. And it's always good to customize yours with some extra items. Then I also always carry a tool, a knife and a headlamp in case you simply stay late in the backcountry. Super useful. I also always bring straps and tape in case you need to fix anything. For the tape, I always take some around my poles or shovel. Then I can use it whenever I want. A rope, a harness and a climbing kit depending on your mission. And most important thing, a Uno game in case you need to send some plus four in the backcountry with your friends. <laughs> then I always carry an extra layer that I try to pack as much as possible so it doesn't take space in the bag. Always good to have an extra pair of gloves in case your other one is wet. And an extra pair of goggles if it's bad weather or you take a USB. Ah. It makes sense, but also make sure that your board, bindings and boots are functional. So you're ready to send it. So here is my personal checklist that I'm carrying every day. It might seem a lot, but it's the minimum to stay safe in the backcountry in case something happens. Also, it could seem heavy, but it's not. And you'll see, it's totally worth it. In the next episode of the 686 Backcountry Safety Tips, we're gonna check all the preparative tips to make sure you're gonna have a safe and fun day with your friend in the backcountry. Enjoy, see ya.